another crack at it. He gets a, a break and he's back out. Josh Mitchell is with him. A lot of skill from him on the three on three. Josh Mitchell sends it over far side. Ross. Drzinski wants it, gets it at center up the right wing. Drzinski over the line. In alone. Ross checked. Penalty shot coming. Kevin Ross had his arm hooked at enough. And he has a penalty shot overtime winner in his career already. And here he will go again to win it. I believe that was Jordan Grant on the back check there. And he's not liking that very much at all. But you know what? And his timing was good, but you can't get up on the hands. And that's what happened there. Kevin Ross with a penalty shot chance to win it. Hooking was the infraction. And what a feed by Drzinski again, Rick. Here goes Kevin Ross to give the dogs four wins in a row. Right up the middle. Into the hash marks. Deeks. And he lost it. No, he didn't lose it, Hammer. I gotta, I gotta say, that was a poke check. Watson. I guess he did. Let, he went backhand to forehand as he was coming around the poke check. It almost looked like the puck maybe rolled at the same time, maybe. Maybe. He Watson did lose it, yes, but I, I think, think uh, he got in a little tight for that backhand forehand play. It's the same move he scored on in Nanaimo last year. Off the draw, Fenske is the stick broken for Mark. He'll get one from the bench. Someone's awake there. They got him one in a hurry. Mitch trying to take on two kings. Centers it, Mark. Shoots it. Watson's down. It's still loose. Mark. Score! It's Mitchell Mark for somebody. And it's a full-on victory and double overtime. I think Mark McMillan found that out of the pile. I'm not sure how that puck came out of the pile. But he looked like he just slid it home like he was... Uh, Thank you. He was just give an assist to either Jess Moser or whoever was awake on the bench because he broke his stick on the face off, went, picked it up, turned around, came in, and maybe scored the overtime winner. Him and Mitch were fighting over it. And the Bulldogs have defeated the Kings. They've won four in a row. They're double overtime winners again at the pound. 3-2. Wow. That's fun, isn't it? It certainly is fun, and uh, boy, you would have to say through the first two thir through first two periods of play that the Albany Bull Bulldogs weren't in this game. Mitch gets it. Keep going, Rick. I said keep going. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching what's going on out there. Paul River Kings, of course, very disappointed leaving the ice in a hurry. But through those first two periods... Up until the last couple minutes, Hammer, it looked like it was all power of Kings and you were having deja vu of that last game here. But, it, uh, boy, from the end of the second period on, these two teams gave us a great game. And the Bulldogs' advantage all the way, overtime through both, uh, both overtime periods and the penalty shot. And they come up with a very deserved win, at least from the uh, end of the second period on, all of the third and the overtime. They were the better team certainly had to work hard for it. Wasn't the prettiest, but the dogs have been...